Hi Collector fans and welcome to the Universal Collector channel and today it's just uh, some pickups and uh, announcement yeah I've just reached 401 subscribers I just can't believe it <laughs> it seems to be uh, taken off now a little bit I think you get to that sort of four or five hundred stage and you start to get more and more subscribers you get to noticed and that algorithm works a bit better I don't know but I'm really chuffed. I'd like to thank all my old and new subscribers, people that I've been with since the beginning. I've been going for over a year now. I can't believe it. And it's been such uh, good fun meeting all these new contacts and uh, this new community we've set up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm really chuffed. So let's have a look what I picked up. I mean, uh, I've got some vintage collection here, as you can see. I picked up the Arc Trooper 5s. I wasn't sure at first, I never got the three pack because um, I like to see the image next to a figure and I'm not sure about those three packs. There's no images with the three pack. It takes up all the room, doesn't it? I've never been a fan of them. So I do I do like have my picture next to the figure, but yeah, they, I, I will get the other two, I think. There's good face, face sculpt on it and that helmet. There's a little bit iffy there, isn't it, on the visor? I know some people are removing the paint and repainting the visor but I'm happy with him he looks all right yeah you get a nice selection of weapons I know you can attach it to the backpack so try yeah cheer it in way we got next I might be getting that that might be Hondo not really interested in got the rest yeah I'm not a fan of Commander Wolf I just don't like the antenna on the shoulder I think it's too big way too big especially when you can do they can do that stork pretty small yeah it's a cool figure isn't it <laughs> yeah i picked up a couple of cheaper ones today ones i've sort of gone back in buying some i haven't say i missed out on or just uh regretted buying and of course you've got to have the the shore trooper haven't you scarab of stormtroopers so many names for this thing love the uh, I just love that it's the grunt really isn't it it's no it's no commander or nothing it's just a simple soldier and so I've got the uh, I've got the black series it's one of the only ones I sort of have out on display which is the grunt so uh, I think this was an exclusive he's quite hard to get now but yeah he's amazing isn't he I just made this and miniaturized it copied it exactly I love that they've uh, weathered the weapon as well we got some silver on there some dry brushing it's brilliant yeah this is an old one now what sort of figures do we have back then yeah Emphy's nest uh, such a it's such a small figure isn't it I know it's a, it's a female in it but in the film uh, the stunt person whoever was in Emphy's nest is a lot bigger <coughs> and uh, the figure I suppose they've just made it a bit smaller I think it uh, should be a lot bigger. That's why I prefer the old Black Series, uh, Black Series Amphi's Nest on the bike. But yeah, <laughs> and yeah, it's brilliant this Black Series figure. Yeah, right. Yeah, now a decent layer figure. They've got the right size in this. You know, it's good sizing. Lovely. Uh, Helmet. I've always loved this car back. It's one of my favourites. One of my favourite stuff in return. Jedi. Princess Elgana. Boosh. <laughs> they always do match it up well, don't they? Get the pill and the, the colours right to the original. It's the same wave on the back here, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that face is not bad. It's not bad. But I think this is probably the only one we'll get to see in Return of the Jedi again. We won't get the uh, Slave Layer or, or or was it Hut Slayer figure now. My last little pickup is Groot. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to get all the Guardians of the Galaxy and I missed out on this one. This was originally a Toys R Us exclusive and they re released it. They remade, you know, repackaged it. Of course, you get the uh, 
Then you get the Groot in the pot. Then we get sort of uh, Guardians of Galaxy 2. And then, of course, the shame is not the teenager Groot in there. That's the one with the with the console. Oh, it's a bit pushing out of it there. But yeah, I bought this off on eBay. Good price. The idiot put it in a uh, in an envelope. Why do people put it in an envelope? Do you think you, these people sell these figures on eBay? Just put it in a box. It's not hard, is it? But it's in not bad condition. But yeah, I like how they made it so it fits in a box. See the legs are laid across that way underneath. So, but yeah, I'm well chuffed. I've got Groot now. Oh, I love going. So Galaxy's one of my favourites, I think. Uh, here we go, just a quick video, some little pickups this week. I think there's more and more coming, isn't there? So uh, I think we'll, uh, we've got a few bits. Uh, everyone's waiting for those uh, Black Series uh, Manda, you know, the Super Commando and the Mole Mandalorian and uh, Ahsoka. And everyone's waiting for those. A lot of people are still waiting for them because Hasbro are messing us about as usual. <laughs> so yeah <coughs> please uh please like and subscribe and uh hit that like button as i say <laughs> yeah right we uh at the moment been doing a live stream on the pala boys which is with blue harvest vintage toys check the uh, youtube page out we do a live stream tuesdays and fridays we've been going for some time now since the uh since the first lockdown it was a nice gathering of us and uh, steadily building a nice following and a community so uh, yeah please I expect a load of you already who watch me or who go on the live stream but any guys that are new please check it out uh, yeah the Pally Boys it's on YouTube Tuesdays and Fridays we start 8 o'clock UK time 3 o'clock in America so yeah check it out Okay, see you on the next video guys, bye.